hi good morning good afternoon and good evening whenever and wherever you're watching this vlog if you don't know who i am i am obaya jones and on this channel i talk about natural hair related topics i talk a little bit about fashion as well as lifestyle content so if you're new here hi and if you're an og welcome back so as you may have seen in the title today i'm going to take you along on my self-care so this weekend i intend taking care of myself and pampering myself. It is good for us as women, as mothers, as wives, as a person to take the time out to actually take care of ourselves, to make ourselves feel good. This is not about being selfish, but it's about taking care of oneself so that you are rejuvenated, so that you can actually take care of your family as well. Because if you're not well, if you're not taking care of yourself, if you don't pamper yourself, how are you going to be able to take care of your family? How are you going to have that zeal or that energy to, to, to exude it or to bring that energy into your family? So it's a good thing to take that time out for yourself and to just do things for yourself, okay? So today is Saturday and I'm starting my self-care weekend with detangling my hair and washing my hair. Yeah, for some of you, this might actually not be like, this is like a dreaded, thing to do but think about it our hair is part of our body and if we don't take care of our hair if we don't nourish our hair like we are not completely we are not giving ourselves the full um, experience of taking care of ourselves some people go to do their hair and in my case I need to detangle my hair I need to wash my hair so doing that is actually taking care of myself and in a sense also pampering myself because I'm taking that time out to cater to myself okay to make sure i'm doing well just keep in mind that it's not about being selfish like i already said it's about just being mindful that you are worth it okay you need to be well in order to treat other people well you need to be well to function many a times we as women or we as mothers or as wives we don't really dedicate that time for ourselves we don't give ourselves we don't cut ourselves some slack we are like we have to perform 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 do 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 but when it comes to ourselves, we don't prioritize ourselves and yeah so this is what this weekend is about i'm just going to do my hair today and tomorrow i'm going to do my nails yes i'm going to do myself but We'll talk about that tomorrow when tomorrow comes okay for today let's focus on today so i'm just going to show you a little bit of how i'm detangling my hair how i'm going to wash my hair moisturize my hair etc 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 i might eat it's not time for me to eat because as you know i do intermittent fasting or you might not know because this might be the first video you're watching so you might want to watch my last vlog where i talk about my weight loss journey and my health so in that video i talk about what i'm in what i'm trying to do i mean that is a part of self-care be mindful of what we eat and be mindful of what we put in our bodies i'm gonna grab myself a glass of water and I put it here so that I don't I'm not thirsty because this is gonna take a while I don't think it's gonna take as long as <laughs> my last video like it took me more than six hours to detangle and then I had to wash and then I had to moisturize and that took me the whole day I took my daughter to swimming lessons and I had to do other things in the house before and now so it's now 11:30. her dad is gonna pick her up soon and then I'll be by myself <laughs> that I can focus on me. <laughs> my uh, hubby Bubu is not home. He went out. So yeah, today is my day. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, let me just grab myself water. Yeah. <laughs>
So I'm done. I'm done with this side of my hair. It's left with this side. And so far, I've spent one hour, 30 minutes to detangle this side. Like this is going to be one of the fastest sessions I've had detangling my hair. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I just want to speed through this side and then hopefully now it's currently 2.30. I started around one o'clock. So yeah, that's one and a half hours. And I want to hopefully be done by four. Let's see how long it's going to take me to do this side. So maybe I'll be done with my hair by eight. I mean, detangling, washing, deep conditioning and re-moisturizing my hair. So that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's still the whole of Saturday though but that's typically how it is uh, but yeah let me quickly do this okay I'm done I'm finally done yay and this is like my fastest detangling it took me two hours and 45 almost 45 minutes two hours and 40 minutes okay two hours and 40 minutes to detangle this hair but i also think it's because the hair wasn't really tangled like that but yeah i'm so happy now i can move on to doing other things okay so let me just do this arrange here quickly and go and wash my hair I'm done washing my hair and I'm letting the deep conditioner stay for another 30 minutes or so or for as long as I'm eating because I want to eat right now. I haven't eaten since and it's it's four, it's five, it's almost six. So um, I have to grab something and eat and I'll let my hair stay. It's been, I think, since I showered and everything, it's been almost, I think, close to 30 minutes because I was also arranging some stuff. Um, in the bedroom and all clearing the hair and everything so um i think i want to eat after i eat and then i'll rinse out the deep conditioner from my hair i relax a little bit and then i moisturize my hair okay that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm going to do mm -hmm. So I actually made this yesterday and I still have some leftovers, but I don't think it's enough. I made some noodles, but these are not your typical noodles. This, these are chickpea noodles. Yeah, they are made of chickpea, so it's not really wheat or anything. It's veggies. It's, it's, not, it's not really wheat. It's chickpea, so it's a healthier alternative to having wheat to having proper noodles so that's what i'm gonna have mm, but well why now why now 
okay thank you <laughs> so i want to i don't think this is enough so i think i'll make a little bit more why is it and now that i'm doing this that they're deciding to do this Ugh. anyway and i still have a little bit still i'm not sure if this is going to be enough i will see because i might just mix it all up and yeah i'll do a revamp but i think i want to cook a little bit more of this noodle the good thing about this it doesn't take so long it's going to take me about six to eight minutes um yeah i'm gonna to be done so from there once the water boils i'm just gonna put it in and then let it boil for another six to eight minutes and then it's done and then i'll add and then i'll add the stew and see if it's enough if not i'm just going to zhuzh it up I'm just gonna stretch it with water and more tomato paste this this too is basically just tomato onions garlic and pepper like what's it called scotch bonnet yeah and scotch bonnet that's it there's no meat there's no fish there's nothing it's just veggie okay and i made it with um an oil obviously so a little bit of tomato paste though but this particular tomato paste does not contain sugar so yeah if you have to be really careful with these tomato pastes that they sell like if you're if you're trying to limit your sugar intake or um watch your calories you have to be careful with those tomato pastes like read the ingredients on the back some of them contain a lot of sugar you wouldn't even believe it so turn your food around read it and see what's actually inside your food okay you will be surprised how much sugar are hidden in some of these foods that we're eating so yeah that's what i'm going to do i shouldn't be flaunting my nails like this because they're looking jaga jaga jiggy jiggy <laughs> but i'll be doing it. i'm so excited to do my nails tomorrow but um, yeah i'm just gonna wait for the water to boil and then i'm going to put this in there okay i'm already like by the way i'm already having on my pjs because yeah it's already evening and there's no need to wear something else i mean i'm home i'm not going anywhere and still nobody is home it's just me <laughs> you know i don't know if it's just me but i just enjoy being by myself i need that time to just be alone to just be with me and do the things i love doing which is just chilling i just like to chill to watch to watch stuff on youtube usually i watch vlogs vlogs like this or i like to educate myself or i listen to sermon you know so that's what i like to do with my time alone or i'm editing but since today's like since now i'm trying to kind of relax as well i'm not going to edit now I'll edit later in the evening but now i just want to relax but soon my daughter's going to come back home soon so i'm just making use of the time before she gets back because then all i'm going to hear is mama 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 <laughs> Uh, is, is it just me or i don't know if i can say it loud but like you enjoy some time alone with nobody like no husband no kids is it just me uh, let me know in the comment section down below i mean i love them but i'm an introvert so i really need that time to rejuvenate like alone time and yeah wait my water is already boiling see let me just Put a little bit of noodles. Uh, yeah, that's enough. So all I'm gonna add to this is just salt, and that's it. Wait, why are you so aggressively boiling? Like, chill. <laughs> So I'm just gonna add a bit of salt. You know, the taste takes a little bit getting used to. Because since like I'm used to eating normal noodles and all, 
I had to get used to the taste, but it's not like necessarily the taste, but the texture. It just ha doesn't have this noodle texture. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just different. And my brain has to like process and get used to the fact that this looks like noodles, but it has a different texture. So yeah, but it tastes good with the stew. It depends on the kind of sauce you're going to add to it. It, it, it just takes away from the fact that you're not eating original Italian noodles, but you're just eating chickpea noodles. Okay. But yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to have. I think I'm going to have egg. I already have two egg balls and I think I'm just going to add it to it. And that'll be it. That'll be my food for today. And if I feel, if I feel like what I've been doing is also having, let me show you this right here oh can you see can you see can you see yeah this is like vegan yogurt vegan yogurt it just it's coconut made of coconut since i'm not i'm not having dairy i'm currently not having dairy as well so yeah but that's just for a period of time it's just for something else but so the skier i had in my last video was the last ski I had since then. I've been eating what I just showed you, the vegan yogurt. So if you've been enjoying my vlog so far, why don't you give this video a big like and also subscribe if you haven't already, okay? It will make me so happy if you do. Huh? Go ahead, go ahead and subscribe and like. I know you want to. <laughs>
Wow. Wow. Anyway, could have been worse. That's okay. That's okay. I'm going to start with a smaller portion because these days I'm not even able to eat so much and I'm already full, so I'm just going to take that. And then you'll be like, yeah, then what was the purpose of cooking the other noodles? Well, I'd rather have more than less and wish to have more. So let me start with this and then if I want more, I can go for more. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And if it doesn't, oh well. I think I have one egg, two eggs. Mm. Let me start with one. I'm going to have one egg. So the last thing I'm going to add is this. It's just, it tastes like, what? I've forgotten the English name. I will insert it. Yeah, I've forgotten the name. Um, but it's, ah! Nutritional, what, wait, I can't pronounce it. Nutritional yeast. Yes, wait, look at how I had to focus. Nutritional yeast. Yes, this is what it is. So I'm just going to put a little bit on top. And it's just going to be like cheese because it, it gives it, it has this cheesy taste. So I'm just going to put a little bit on top. And yeah, but I mean, it's not, this is not just for the, I'm not having this just because it tastes like cheese but also but also because of the vitamin b that it contains i need a lot of vitamin b because i need energy i just have to make sure to find ways to incorporate more of vitamin b into my diet as well so yeah that's why i'm having this so i'm going to eat So I'm done eating and I'm kind of full. I'm half full, mm, not completely full. So I'm, I'm just going to have some nuts, peanuts and some almond nuts. And that will be it. Like I said, usually I would have some of, I would have the yogurt. Did I have the yogurt? I don't know. I'm not really feeling like eating the yogurt, um, the coconut yogurt. Or should I? Mm. Uh, I'm not sure. And excuse me, I'm dull now. I'm, I'm tired. Like, my tiredness just dropped on me. And I'm now low energy. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually feeling sleepy as well. <laughs> but it's not time for me to sleep yet, just yet. So I have to, I think I'm going to have the nuts. Maybe it might give me some energy. Mm. I doubt it. I doubt it because they, I doubt it a lot. Oh, actually, yeah, it might. So I'm going to have some nuts. Let me have. I'm coming.
hi good morning i hope you had a good night's rest um well i don't know what time you're watching but for me it's the next day and the last where we left off was where i was moisturizing my hair and um, as you can see i finished it yesterday and it's currently air drying okay it's not entirely dry especially here because i left it like this um in this messy little bun and it's just gonna stay like that uh, until it's just going to stay like that until maybe uh, tomorrow because tomorrow i'm going to work so i might leave my hair like this because i think it actually looks nice <laughs> it's as long as the front looks okay i think it looks okay i could wear like this or i would just leave it out and just leave my hair because the, the twists are neat. I, mean, I gave myself the option to leave to wear that if I wanted to. Okay, so today I want to do my nails. It's almost 10 o'clock. I'm actually a little bit behind time because I still have other things I need to do um, outside the vlog, of course, but that has nothing to do with the vlog. But I need to continue with doing my nails, doing my toenails. And then like that'll be it for my self-care and then i have to uh, do my daughter's hair just refresh her hair and what else do i have to, i have to edit i have to upload today's video because typically sundays is my upload day and i have to still edit a little bit of it yesterday i was too tired this entire week i've been so tired and the reason being is I have started like I have picked up the habit which leads me into what I wanted to talk about shortly before I actually study my nails I have been waking up early usually when I'm going to work I wake up at 6 and then I uh, start my day and then I just do my stuff but recently I've been waking up at 5 and the reason being is that I, I the, that God put it on my heart to really give him more of my time which I have not been doing in the past I would just like when I wake up I would read a little bit of my uh, read a little bit of my Bible on my phone and pray a little and that's it but God like laid it on my heart that it's not enough like he needs more of my time and then I um, even myself I just felt like this year i really needed to take it even more serious my work with god my relationship with god the connection with god i need to really be more serious about it be more intentional about it because previous years i've always like this is my journal yeah and in my bullet journal i've written down the things i want to achieve and the previous year i also did that and some of the things i was able to and a lot of the things I wasn't because I wasn't consistent I wasn't intentional with my actions there was something like it's not enough to just say you want to do something or really want to do something you have to actually take steps to do what you say you want to do actionable steps you know so that you can actually achieve what you want to do so one of these things that I wanted to really better or to get better at or to do is to have a stronger relationship with God to pray more to study my Bible more to have this intimate 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 relationship with God and yeah and I knew I was lacking in that area uh, like not that I wasn't praying anything like I already said but I felt like it was not enough okay so I needed to change something about it and this year I was like no it cannot be like the previous years where I'm like okay I'm gonna do it and I do it partially or not entire not entirely so there are certain things I, ha I I needed to change I needed to actually do so this year I've made more time yes the thing about it is like you have to life is always busy and my life is busy because I'm working I'm a mom and my wife and I have things to do at home when I go to work I don't have limited time when I come and on weekends I have other things to do as well so where am I gonna fit God in so to say but that's the wrong thinking that's the wrong way of thinking and that's what I realized I'm like I cannot fit God in I have to prioritize God first and then fix everything else around him so that's what I, like there was a sermon I was listening to or was it a sermon or there was something I was watching on YouTube and then like they were talking about it that they were talking about it that you cannot if you want to fit God into your busy schedule you will never find time because life is busy but if you 
make him priority first and then fix everything else around it then you realize time all of a sudden you find the time to do that so that's what i've done so for the past week uh for the past weeks or so uh, i have been dedicating time so in the beginning of the year i, I made that time to be in the evening um before i'd go to bed like i would read my bible in the morning when i wake up everything and then in the evening before i went to bed that, that's when I, that's when i'd have my study and like really pray and do all that and then i started incorporating in the morning because and it was so interesting because i wanted to um joins i don't want to talk i don't want to talk too much about it because you know what the bible talks about when you're praying and fasting and all that like you're not supposed to put it out there or brag about it or like it seems as if you're bragging about it it's like it's between you and god so i'm just not going to talk about that too much but basically i um decided to wake up earlier and then there was I decided to wake up earlier so that I would have that early morning boost and have that early morning communication with God. And since I started doing it, guys, let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you, like there's this shift in my spirit. I cannot explain it. There's just this shift in my spirit. And I feel so, so, so much closer to God. And just by waking up early and reading and praying and doing that and then i'm still doing it in the evening as well so it's not just um in the mornings in the morning i i would I pray i would do all that and then in the evening i would um pray like i have different topics or not to, like different things things i'm praying about so i'm praying for myself i'm praying for my children like my child i'm praying for my child i'm praying for um, my husband i'm praying for my family i'm praying for yeah the different things i'm praying for and then um in the morning like so i would that i don't have to say so in the morning there are different things i'm praying about in the evening i think my things i'm praying about so i also have a journal where i um jot down my prayer and then for different things that i'm praying about i have different uh books or i should say journal that i am journaling those prayers in okay i hope that makes sense like i have my this is i have my that's one of my journals where i pray this is another one where i also write my prayer in and then i decided to get me a study bible guys and so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy just a couple of days i just got here a couple of days ago and i also decided to get a prayer journal as well because yes um and this is going to be my gratitude um journal where i'm just just for gratitude just to write thank you and all the things i'm thankful to god for i was intention i was initially going to write it in my journal my bullet journal like I, I made a space in my bullet journal for that but i think i needed more space and i just wanted to have a dedicated uh book for it so i just got this also when i got these um other um books so this is my study bible that i got i'm so happy i'm so, happy. I'm so excited i'm so excited to use it um even more so far i have just like read it a little because like i said i just got it a couple of days ago and then i have this prayer journal which also i have i've already written i've already started using as well and i'm so excited like i feel like this year it's not just about talking it's not just about writing it's about action it's, it's about doing what um god wants me to do and it's been laying on my heart and all the years i'm like yeah <laughs> and this this year i'm like no i cannot just be repeating the same things i've been doing and talking blah 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 and not actually doing something about it so yeah this is what this is also what i wanted to talk about about self-care it's important to if you are a believer to nurture that relationship with god to to feed your spirit that is also self-care to feed your spirit to build your inner man so that your flesh can die because if you just leave it to just like if you just leave it like that your flesh is eventually going to take over and you're going to start doing things you're not supposed to do 
you be thinking things you're not supposed to think because you're supposed to renew your mind each day how do you renew how do we renew our mind by reading the word of god by studying the word of god because that is where the issues of life lie in like that is where we find our soul is that's where we find our truth because the world is going to spill so much junk out and throw so much things at us that we can't combat it on our own we can't fight it with our own strength but we need god we need his spirit we need his word to guide our hearts that's why we're supposed to put on the whole armor of god yeah so that is our armor the word of god is our armor so i needed to like step my game up to really take the to take things seriously because yeah i and i'm i am i am happy that god has just pressed it on my heart even further to that he was like are you going to repeat the same things you've been saying last year like the past year and you're not doing anything about it you know and i just like no like i was like when i, I was having a conversation with the holy spirit and then it just I was like, no, 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 I can't. I just can't. It cannot be the same thing. So, yeah, that's something I just wanted to talk about um, before I move on to doing my nails. Yes, <laughs> it's important that when you're doing your self-care, you also, you also, um, he is the center. So it's not like you're, it's like an added, it's an addition, but he's the foundation yes god is the foundation so um reason why i'm saying because i'm tired is because i've been waking up early and even so i've been awake i woke up today also at five o'clock so i'm a little bit tired of feeling the impact of waking up my body has to get used to that and and sleeping late as well because and i since i have a lot of my plate i, I still have to sleep a little bit late because i still have to edit and mm -mm 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 -mm. But I will, I, will, I will figure that part out, like the sleeping early and trying to manage that. That is also something that is part of my um, things I've written down that I need to improve on to manage things even better so that I don't um, overwork myself. I don't strain myself and all that. So essentially, um, yeah, that's my body has to get used to waking up earlier. It's just an hour difference, but it, it makes a huge difference because I'm still sleeping late, like I said. So... I um, have to uh, work on that as well. I hope I did not bore you with my talk because it is important to me. It's an important aspect of who I am. So yeah, I decided to, I, that's why I'm deciding to incorporate this um, part as well because it's, it's the foundation of who I am. It's, yeah, so that's essentially it anyway let's move on to doing my nails i will show you guys my tools and i'm gonna do my nails myself did i mention that i'll show you the tools these are my tools guys mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i am a professional <laughs> nail technician i'm joking i'm not but see guys i'm just like why should i spend money so much money for someone to do my nails where i can actually learn how to do it myself there's so many things that I have learned how to do myself, like baking cake. I can bake you a cake, like a proper, like wedding cake, um, birthday cake, wedding cake. I can bake it for you. Come to me. I can bake it. <laughs> no, but seriously. And um, for a while I was doing it like baking birthday cakes and all that. That was in my, in my old apartment, but it was so small and I was getting stressed out because Firstly, the space and the time. Secondly, the people were not appreciating because of the price I needed, the price I was asking for. So they would not, they would not really appreciate um, the work and they were not ready to pay what they're supposed to pay. So I stopped doing that as well. But I might eventually pick it up because I enjoy doing it. I like, I just, I just enjoy doing things like that. So, and I learned it from YouTube. Yeah, YouTube has taught me a lot. Natural hair, baking, and my nails. Certain things I feel like you can pick up if you are really ready to learn, if you're willing to learn editing YouTube. So anyway, back to nails. So I'm like, why should I spend too much money on nails when I can learn how to do it myself? It's not acrylic I'm doing. I'm going to be doing poly gel. It's called poly gel. So there's a lot of improving I need to do still to really get uh, better, but for me, I'm good. Like, 
I was watching someone, she was like, she was saying that even 1% every day or anything you're doing 1%, you're, you're getting better by 1%. And after some time, you would see that you'd have gotten good at whatever that thing is that you're doing. So yes, yeah, so over time, I would I know that I'll get to the point where I'm like, hmm, this I can actually offer as a service to someone eventually if I'm ready to. Okay. So I have talked a lot and I actually don't have much time. So it's now 10 o'clock. My plan was actually to start at nine. So I'm one hour behind. I need to um fire my nails. My nails are looking yeah, I need to cut the cuticles, file the top, do all that before I can start putting the nails on it. Let me just start filing this off. Okay, so now I'm about to start doing the nails because I'm done with um, prepping my nails. So I've already picked out the sizes that I need. These are the things that I need. The ponytails. I couldn't pick, I wasn't sure which color I wanted. So I'm just going to use both. <laughs> you need a top and a base coat. And a primer and a dehydrator. And my slip solution. And in there, there is... um alcohol 70 percent alcohol uh you could like there are separate slip solutions you can buy but they are more expensive than just using alcohol and it works as well and i also need this for cleaning for wiping my nails okay please excuse my dry hands my hands have to be dry i cannot oil my hands because then it would make it more difficult to make the things stick to my hand okay i'm not going to show you the process really because like i said i'm not a nail technician and yeah that will take too much time to even try to show you the process i mean there are enough videos on youtube for you to watch how to do poly poly gel poly gel nails by yourself and that's where i learned it so if you are interested in, in learning it as well you can just type in youtube how to do poly gel nails at home by yourself diy there are a lot of videos that will pop up pick one that you are able to learn from and then just go from there okay i'm just going to quickly do my nails and then i'll show you the end result once i'm done so there is a little bit of a what a break because my mom called that she locked herself out so we need to go there to help her open uh, her door hopefully we're able to open it so i'm actually i was in the middle of doing my nails and I had to stop pick her up from church and then take her home so yeah hopefully we are able to do this because otherwise we have to call the what's it called in English? Hmm? Key service. Key service. Yeah we have to call someone to come and open the door basically but you have to pay so hopefully we are able to do this yeah
I'm back home. So I was able to open the door. <laughs> Thank God. My mom. <laughs> I wish I had recorded it, but yeah, that was the least of my mind uh, to record anything. But um, we were able to open the door. Everything is fine. She's in her house. <laughs> She's safe. She has her key now. And next time she'll be more careful. But this can happen to anybody. And thankfully, I had the spare key. And yeah, so keep that in mind. If you can, you have the ability, if you have the, if you can have spare keys, then make sure to give it to someone in case something like this happens where you lock yourself, where you lock yourself out. Hopefully you can still open and unlock the door, even if the key is behind the door. Yeah. So in her case, her key was behind the door when she shut the door and yeah, that's what happened. But yeah, we are back home and now I can tackle the rest of my fingers. It's now almost 2.30 and I'm not sure if I can still do my toenails because it's late. I don't know how long it's going to take and because I, I wanted to do spa massage and everything with my, fit, with, with my feet but I'm not sure if I can do that. So I'll just finish my nails and then see if I can and if not then I'll just do it another time. And my toenails, well, pff, I don't know if I was to paint it or anything. I'll just leave it like that. <laughs> but I wanted to paint it. I really wanted to paint it. But just let's see. Let's see how it goes, okay? And not even bad from God's perspective. Some of those things are training for you. There's some instructions God will give you this year that may be too hard for you to obey. God will say, stay there and rest. Stay there and be obedient. Stay there and serve. And, and you'll be wondering... Am I a stepchild? God, don't you love me? His son that he announced to the world. You as he announced it to the world. Your own is between you and him. It's a private conversation. You are dating in secret. <laughs> it's a secret love. <laughs> and you are complaining. The one you announced to the world. He still took him to the wilderness. The wilderness is a place of extreme. It's too hot in the daytime and too cold at night. You carry him there and say, stay here. And he didn't just leave him to the wilderness to sit for a while and to grow. He took him there to be tempted. So that means that he could have entered this temptation. I mean, which can I be this? How can you carry me to go and tempt me? Just because you are serving God doesn't mean that challenges will not come. Don't let Satan lie to you. So this year, any time, at any time, if you feel like this is a challenge, this seems, so, it seems tough. It doesn't look like it's normal. Listen to me. God is pruning you because you are doing well. So I'm done with my nails. Right now I want to make my food. I've actually started making it already. It's almost done. Let me show you. <clears throat> this is going to be um, eggs. I just cracked some eggs here and I have to add it to that. And this is going to be my other egg. Yeah, the spinach, paprika, onion, garlic and spices. So that is what I'm going to be having uh, for my meal today. I haven't eaten anything yet. It is 5.15. Normally, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, it's because of the pepper. I've been sneezing because I overdid it <laughs> and the window was closed. So there was no circulation. So it just entered my nose. And since then I've been sneezing anyway. so. Um, Normally, I'm supposed to exercise also today. I don't know if I'm going to, uh, to be frank with you. I, <clears throat> I'm not sure yet. Let me eat and then I can wait a couple of hours. It's now five. So even if I was going to exercise, that would be like in two hours or three hours. So let's see. And <clears throat> oh, I have to still show you the nails, right? I can show you like this, but I, I think I want to make a B-roll and show it to you like that. I'll insert that clip in here right now, okay?
So did you like my nails? <laughs> did I try? Did I try? At least it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to be because when I was kind of in the rush. So, <coughs> or let's say I skipped a step that I typically do. Whoa, this pepper is disturbing me. I need to drink water. <sighs> Better. <clears throat> so as I was saying, <clears throat> I skipped some steps that I was supposed to do. <clears throat> One step actually that I was supposed to do because I thought I, I would do it afterwards and it would still be fine. And that is to trim or that is to cut the um nail tips to these and that is to cut the nail tip to the desired length right <clears throat> so instead of cutting it before i decided that i would do everything and then i'll cut it at the end and then shape my nails and do all that but that was a mistake because once i went ahead to cut it the nail tip now was lifting in certain areas away from the poly gel so it's left some air bubbles in it because once, while I was trying to clip it, the pressure or the tension from cutting caused, caused it to lift in certain areas. So it just looks like there's some air bubbles in some places, but it is not so bad. It could look like it was intentional, but since I know that it wasn't, <clears throat> Kind of, it kind of annoys me. It annoys me a little because it <coughs> would wait. This pepper is <coughs> and there's pepper in there too. <coughs> I can't wait. <coughs> and since I know it was preventable, like that's what it's upsetting. Because typically I usually cut it before, but today I just decided to do it differently. And this is what it ended up. This is what I ended up with. But this is a lesson for me. It's a learning curve. So for next time. I wouldn't do it like that again. I would just go ahead and trim it before before I do the the following steps. Yeah, <clears throat> I think I can put my egg in now. So guys, my food is ready and I would like to go and eat now. So I'm going to end the vlog right here. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making it for you. So if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so that you are notified when my next video comes up. See you again in my next video. Bye. Okay, I'm going to eat my food.